The COVID-19 pandemic is one of the worst pandemic in the century, killing more than 300,000 and infecting millions of humans worldwide. The pandemic is caused by the coronavirus originated from a wet market in Wuhan, China, and since then it rapidly spread to more than 100 countries worldwide. What can be done to help us with this? Currently, there are no vaccine available in eradicating the virus, leaving out plenty of opportunity for the science community in developing a solution of eradicating the pandemic. Thus, physicists may come up with a creative solution by harnessing the invention such as the UV light and nuclear radiation in eradicating the virus. So what is UV light? UV light is a form of electromagnetic radiation that comes from the sun which comes in the form of waves. However, not to be confused with sun rays, UV light only encompasses 10% of sunlight and only one third of it reaches the ground. In the electromagnetic wave spectrum, UV light has a wavelength in between visible light and X-rays. Unlike visible light, UV light is, only, is not visible to the human eye. However, some animals such as bumblebees have the ability to see them. UV light has a wide range, therefore it is classified into three different types, UVA, UVB, and UVC. These categories are based on wavelengths, which are measured in nanometers. UVA has a wavelength of 315 to 400 nanometers, UVB with 280 to 350 nanometers, and UVC with 180 to 280 nanometers. Out of the three, UVC is the most harmful for humans, and UVA is the least. For this particular video, we will focus on UVB light. So what are the effects of UVB light? Since UVB lights are ultraviolet light, they have the ability to trigger the production of vitamin D in our body. Vitamin D is an essential vitamin for our body as it helps improve our body's resistance to diseases and will keep our immune system healthy. Therefore, exposing our body to UVB light will have its merits. However, we shouldn't be exposing too much of our body to UVB light as it also has negative effects when excessively exposed. Although mild exposure of UVB light might be helpful to the immune system, overexposing of it will damage it. Moreover, being exposed too long from UVB light will cause sunburn and worse, skin cancer. It can also destroy collagen which is a tissue in our skin, therefore aging our skin and making it wrinkled. In conclusion, we should be careful when exposing ourselves to UVB, although it has positive effects, too much of it is harmful. Unlike other vitamins, vitamin D is produced when our body is exposed to sunlight. Vitamin D has a lot of functions for our body. However, the most important of them is to regulate the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. Another important role that it possesses is that it is crucial for supporting our body's immune, brain, and nervous system. Therefore, having sufficient vitamin D in our body is key in resisting various diseases. Moreover, in the case of the COVID-19 pandemic, having sufficient vitamin D is important as it will improve our immune system and help our body resist against the disease. When the body or skin is exposed to UVB light, the synthesis of vitamin D3 occurs, which helps the immune system in fending off pathogens. However, only UVC light can actually effectively kill or disable microorganisms and microbial viruses. It is filtered out in the ozone layer and is potentially dangerous to humans. Use of UVC light for health purposes is only approved for specialists with proper equipment and training. Uh, from our research, we found that UV light can help in destroying virus, uh, but it has severe side effects. Uh, the main two types of UV light that's going to help us is UVB and UVC. Uh, the UVB can help trigger the body production of the vitamin D. Uh, the vitamin D is very useful for the human body, uh, as said before, it improves our body resistance to diseases and protect our immune system. Uh, even though the UVB is very useful, uh, long exposure to it can cause sunburn and even worse skin cancer. Uh, the UVC can help in killing viruses and bacteria, uh, but UVC, which is usually filtered by ozone layer, if exposed to it directly can cause massive damage to the human cells. And that is why uh, the use of it can only be done by professionals. Nuclear radiation have been shown to be able to reduce a virus like corona. Uh, the radiation can kill the virus with long amount of exposure to the, hum the radiation. Uh, but if we're talking about the effect on it on the human body, uh, long exposure to it can ha cause cancer. And because we were targeting the virus in the lungs, uh, 
we can reduce lung function as a side effect of uh, radio radiation therapy. To compare and contrast between UVB lights and nuclear radiation, uh, I think it's best to assume that UVB is the best option for treating patients. Uh, yes, it cannot kill the virus uh, effectively, uh, but if the body triggered the production of vitamin D, uh, it will benefit for the human body to increase its immune system. Uh, while if we use the nuclear radiation, the negative and severe medical effect of using it uh, would be too risky uh, for treating patients uh, because the patient uh, that have corona usually is already in critical state. UVB light has proven to be able to damage pathogens and is reliably found from sunlight. However, the process of damaging pathogens takes too long. Currently, it is still being questioned whether or not it is effective in taking out COVID-19. A decent amount of sunlight every day is always good for you, and UVB still produces vitamin D3 for your immune system. So for now, it is safe to say that it's good to get some sunlight on your skin every day. UVB light has been seen to possess the ability to damage pathogens though a bit slow. Testing of UVB towards COVID-19 has not been thoroughly researched yet, so it is to be determined whether or not it is effective. That being said, extreme amounts of exposure to UV light is not good for your skin and genetic material, so sunlight and UV light is not a reliable way to kill COVID-19 for now. But it is still good for you in moderate doses in general, like taking in sunlight every day. For nuclear radiation, although it could help with killing COVID-19, the risks are too high since it requires long exposure which could cause cancer and also damage your body.